The following program is produced and sponsored by you, the TBN Partners, and is only made possible through your generous support. In an ever-changing world, there's always an abundance of exciting news to share with you, the TBN family. Join us as we take a look at what's happening around the globe. From Christian events, missions, and evangelism to entertainment, technology, world issues, and more. Watch now and be the first to know. Well, here we are. We just got out of Miracle Moment, and what an amazing time that is, right, Jan? I love it. And you know, it's one. Of, it's the time, and and we've had more comments on this <laughs> that you know everybody comes in and you get to see yeah. everything about Jesus. But at the end, then you are the important one. That's you right. are the star. That's and then Jesus comes and touches you and all of the people, mm -hmm. and you get to be the center figure yeah. here at Holy Land at the end of the play because you're prayed for, yeah. receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We pray for provision for you. We pray for your children. We pray for everything <laughs> you need. And it's a wonderful time. You know, I think many times we, we, it's like a football game. We get right to the final end zone and then we don't even cross the goal line. I think that's yeah. the point because long after the guests leave here, they're going to kind of forget about the shows and they'll forget about, you know, maybe some of the, you know, the, the costumes and the music, but what they won't forget is how God healed them. Yeah. What Thank they won't forget is right here, them writing on the, on the back of an olive wood cross, how God provided a way out of cancer or maybe a, a child in their home, yeah. you know, or their marriage restored, whatever it is, salvation. We have crosses all over this property. I know. That, I love it. that uh, Jan came up with and the you, idea around Thanksgiving, uh, around Easter, Easter, say we should do something special. And it was just a God moment. She ordered in some of these olive wood crosses, and then we just, and it's just been, it's been an amazing, amazing time. It's, it's a focal point now, so. And you know what we're gonna do? Here's Calvary. Yes. You can show a picture in a minute. But we're going to take a spot mm, right mm -hmm. on Calvary. Yeah. And we're going to bury all of those crosses in there. Yeah. And just let them be there forever. And there's Michael Job. Come here, honey. Come on, Michael. Tell us a miracle that happened today. Every day he's got a new salvation miracle. <laughs> you know, there was, uh, I, uh, Jen allows me to do the salvation down here at the tomb. And there are two people for the first time in their lives. Uh, one girl was 39 and also her cousin, and they both made a first-time commitment to the Lord to turn away from their sins. They were crying. The Holy Spirit was upon Amazing. them. It was awesome. And you yesterday, know. you had two from Bahrain? Uh, yeah, there was one from Bahrain, a, a kid that got saved, which is, uh, it was awesome, Amazing. you know. And then there were these other two from... Uh, Mississippi and uh, that family was just crying. They were bawling because that's that's why they came. They came for family salvation. And then two of their teenagers got saved. You know, and it's amazing. And, yeah. and we were just telling them, Michael, that a lot of theme parks you go and you just are part of the crowd, but yeah. here at the end, then it focuses on you, that's the right. individual, it gets personal. and it gets very personal. And whatever you need, we pray for, it, and I love that. You know, I, I can remember Jan, uh, I was right over here, kind of standing right there, and I was praying for a woman, and she, her eye was completely gray. Oh. And as God is my witness, as we're praying, and I hate to say I peeked, but I did. <laughs> as I was praying for her, I looked, I opened one eye, and I was just praying in the Spirit that God would heal her eye. And I saw her eye go from gray to just like your eyes, crystal oh. blue. Just Amazing. in a matter of seconds. There have been wonderful miracles oh. here. Just wonderful. One lady is just confirmed was healed of cancer. Hallelujah. And, you know, just wonderful <laughs> things. Because right here is the whipping post right. where by those stripes That's we right. are healed. Mm. And uh, I love it. I love it. You know, it's, it's great. So we're going to walk around the property and go look at a few things that we're working on. And, of course, we're, everything's a work in progress. But one of the areas we want to look to is, is the Smile of a Child area. Yeah. and. Come on over here. You know, we've been spending some time trying to get um, an area where kids can have a place where they can come and relax and learn. You know, I think so many times in our, you know, we're so busy trying to entertain our kids. And, and it's so important to have something where it's educational. Just like this, the Church of the Nations. And inside is the Garden of Agony. This is a replica, very close. You can see the pictures of what it's like in Israel. And uh, this was an area, Jan was looking around. We're walking around, and Jan goes, what, what's this for? We go, well, it's palm trees. That's it. She goes, why don't we do a Church of the Nations? I'm like, all right, well, well we'll try that. So that kind of how that happened. And now it's a beautiful place to just pray. Go and pray. And pray. You can take your little 
little cross in there and be blessed. It's very peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. Under, underneath the acacia tree. Now over here is the, uh, the Wilderness Tabernacle. Of course, this has been one of the longest running things that we had here. I don't know if you realize that. That's one of the first things that opened. But they give a beautiful description of, of how the tabernacle and, and the Old Testament and the sacrifices and how that all happened. And it's amazing, amazingly educational. It's not all about the, the special effects, but it's awesome. We come into this area here, and normally we've got misters. And if you can kind of pan up, you can see this whole area would be a cloud of mist. And, of course, you're walking through the Red Sea. We're Moses over here, part of the Red Sea. So you can go through. we got little Sharky Sharky here. How are things going? Oh, he's not really doing too good today. But this is a beautiful place where people can come through, and they can actually see. I wonder if it would have been like to actually go through the sea, the sea of the Red Sea. And then, of course, we have a, a theater over here, which is beautiful. Inside is a state-of-the-art theater where we got shows playing all the day and, and also have a time where uh, Jesus, a Christ figure, will come in and actually do parables with Jesus, which is kind of neat. Over here we have uh, the, uh, the great place where kids can come up here and they can pretend they're Hercules and be pushing on these. And, you know, and there's a, uh, during the day, of course, we have there's sound effects going on, and, and they can have a feel what it likes for Samson to push the pillars over and that whole story, and it explains the story. The rock wall, we're going to be turning this into Mount Sinai. <laughs> so you're going to climb up to Mount Sinai. I'm not sure if we're putting a burning bush, but if you see, we do have Ten Commandments up there. So they can go up there and, and uh, you know, get their uh, beautiful rock wall experience and have a nice view. Of course, we have the boat here, which is the, uh, you know, the, the ark and some of the animals all around. It's a beautiful design of what they've done. We do different stories in here so the kids can come in here and relax and take pictures and of uh, different uh, figures. But we do some shows in here, some kids' shows. So it's not just about the, the uh, passion drama or the four women love Jesus or the different shows we do. It's, it's about kids, too. We have shows designed specifically to target them. Over here is uh, Jonah and the whale. And, of course, we have a nice little replica of Jesus on the water. Uh, this is our newest edition right here, and this is a great place. It's a place where kids can kind of get interactive, whether it's hammering on the hammers, making sound, or you can hear, I wish you could hear during the day when all things are going and everything's on, but you hear the, uh, you know, the, the, the children from all around the nations are singing songs, and uh, they're all moving, and it's kind of great. Over here they have um, different things for archery. Well, they'll have a, an area here where they can actually get dressed up as different Bible characters. Of course, you can have different photo op moments. So again, it's, it's designed for kids to learn. And staff is here to teach you. Staff is here, though. They'll give you bracelets and explain the salvation plan. It's, it's really awesome. Come over here. Check this out. You have here the whale. It's been operating now for about a couple of years. It's not on right now, but it gives the whole description. We're going to be adding a few special effects here. In fact, you can see where we're starting this. This is going to come on as soon as the show starts. There's going to be a mist that comes down. So you're like in the whale, in the belly of the whale. And you got the octopus that speaks and the starfish. And then, of course, there's Jonah in there. And explains the whole story, which is beautiful. And it's, uh, it's air conditioned, too. So <laughs> it's nice to actually get out of, the, out of the heat. Of course, the photo op and different toys and we just added this this is our coffee shop here and it's kind of nice so you can order your drinks or for kids can get their slurpees or whatever else they have of course that key is up in the tree he's saying hi to everyone yep so we go through here we have our self our our holy land coffee shop now during the day when this is all open up, I'm telling you, oh, the smell is amazing. The coffee, and they can make all kinds of refreshments. And they got uh, trinkets you can buy and different, uh, different knickknacks you can purchase. Uh, this is our center courtyard. And we're getting a little bit of rain here, but that's okay. Over here is our one of our main gift shops. And I'm wondering if it's still open right now. We can go check it out real quick. So inside our gift shop, we have a real a nice array of different different things. Um, you have different books, of course, and, and different paraphernalia, a lot of jewelry, and this is kind of cool. Look at this. This is the whole Bible etched on one little piece of glass. It's very miniature. You don't know if you can see through there, but it also will show you the smile of a child, the theater of life where we do different theaters, different presentations and dramas for the kids, and they have movies continually running in there, so it's a great place for them to react. All kinds of Bible resources and dresses and skirts and we got CDs and pins and 
over here is kind of a new, this is kind of cool. We've uh, started this up, different oils and, and bath balms and, um, you know, spike nay, different things like from the Bible times would be great to be able to put on, you know, different jewelry items you can purchase. Some are originally from, some are authentically from Israel and some are just from this area. Um, got all kinds of CDs and things you can buy and clothes. And I'm telling you, it's a great place to do some shopping. It's great prices. Or even an umbrella, which we probably need right now. <laughs> a different kids' venue. This is one of four shops we have on property. This one's uh, a pretty good one. The next one we have is, is uh, there's one of a Bible, all Bibles, and different um, concordances and different uh, resources that you would need. And that's in the scriptorium. It's amazing. You don't want to miss that. And that's on the other end of the property. The one in the middle of the property has a little more jewelry and, and uh, clothing items uh, and, and music and DVDs. As you can see, we have all that here also. Wow. Isn't that amazing? You just ran and <laughs> showed the children and what all did you get to see? Well, we went into the coffee shop and the oh, gift shop, good. walked oh. around a little bit into there and showed Super. some product. Yeah, so it was kind of neat. And then there were, the rain came down, which was great. Wonderful. So I think we prayed. But you know what? Praise God they didn't happen during the, uh, during the play, during the miracle moment. You so. know how many times we prayed oh that God. rain away at the just last Just yesterday. Morning? Oh, several times this week. Saw the weather coming up. And yeah. It's amazing. We just, uh, we just pray that the Lord will allow everybody that's here to see that that's beautiful right. outdoor passion and this is just kind of a yep. panoramic of everything that's here at the park and we're here in the shofar auditorium right now which as you can see there are only 400 seats <laughs> and today we had 1400 people in the park you do the math <laughs> it doesn't do work <laughs> so god has helped us to do the math and this is the answer and his I'm answer right <laughs> we won't talk about <laughs> but this is going to be right out on the I-4, those of you that know Orlando area. It's going to be in our back parking lot. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Yeah, goes right here. And um, this is going to be a 2,000-seat auditorium where we can do all of the plays, and every one of you that come into the park will get a beautiful seat with no blockage of the view and let me show you why okay start taking it apart this is the model it's going to be called the church of all nations and um we can take this little model apart and you can see here honey um this there's going to be two th does this come off larry i don't uh, think, I think that, that doesn't there's the stage oh yeah Point, we'll point the down in there. See, here's your stage area here. And there's, there's all your seats. And, of course, your actors will be through here. There's even a, a top part where actors can go. And there's even little side stages. We just kept adding to it, didn't we? We kept yeah. seeing different shows. And, like, we ought to change that. Uh, so the intent is we'll be able to actually fly angels or fly a Christ figure through. Underneath the stage are different pockets we're going to have, so we'll be, be able to have a thing called like toasters, where people can pop up, or Satan can go down, or people can disappear, come up in different spots, or the cross. Uh, there's even talk we can possibly do, like um, a rain scene, and so you can have actual rain falling in these different pits, and there'll be a little passageway. So it's really state of the art. Totally is, yep. and we're, we'll have screens back mm -hmm. here for different yep. scenes and. The, but the best part is, look right here. Here's your little seat right here. Mm -hmm. There's no blockage to the stage. You'll be able to see every little point. Here's a person. Yeah, that gives you so an idea. this gives you a perspective. Um, there's a person. Mm -hmm. And so you can see how 2,000 people could fit in here beautifully. Now let's go down and look under here. I don't know how much of this front I'm comes not really off. Sure, but this part here is oh, yeah. going to be oh. a baptism. Uh -oh. And uh, we'll actually do baptisms here at the Holy Land Experience because uh, we actually had a lady want to get baptized in the lake. And so we're like, we should do that. But there's a beautiful statue and a how many feet? waterfall is that? That's 30 feet. 30-some feet? I don't know. Isn't that right, Larry? Some 30-some feet know. waterfall? waterfall? Anyway, no. in this in this area here will be a place where we can have uh, baptisms, and this will all be the courtyard. Yeah. And the, where we're standing right now is over here right now, just to give you perspective. And so this is going to be a beautiful courtyard. Um, and what do you call that courtyard? What are you going to call that? It's the, with the pillars, the uh, court... Something. Cardo. 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 Thank you. C-A-R-D-O. 
Bombardio. It's going to be a maze. Look it up on Google. It's, it's very interesting. Amazing. It's from Israel. Yes. And uh, so Les will be in here yes. every day, bab- <laughs> literally, I mean literally baptizing people. So people come um, in through here, yeah. through the main entrances on the doors, and I don't oh, think this piece come comes off. off. Does it? And then they'll be able to go in. What does it? We break it. Floors <laughs> and, and, but look down under here. Yeah. Here's uh, the dressing room. Mm-hmm. The bathrooms, the lobbies over here, huge lobbies. That's lobby. Mike Everett right there. No. That is Mike Everett. <laughs> second he floor shrunk. Is pretty much, yeah, Honey, second you floor shrunk floor. Mike Everett. <laughs> you shrunk, you shrunk Mike. The second floor will be for a lot of actors and, you know, different things and dress-up rooms and even uh, props and everything. First floor will be a lot more for, like, the guests and the bathrooms and gift shops. And, you know, of course, we want to be able to expand this to be able to do concerts. Can you imagine having an artist come mm. in? and just pack this out on a wow. Friday night. Or even to have a convention. You may want to have, bring your church and be able to have a convention where you can bring in your whole church. Because the Holy Land, the yep. whole Holy Land is right here. Yep. In fact, you walk from Holy Land into, right into this. Yep. And uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you know what? We want to thank God for this. You know, the city of Orlando has been so kind. And it's called Church of All Nations. And we just pray that... People from all over the world will come here and then, but the television will be here Mm -hmm. and we will be broadcasting our church to every nation in the world. So that's going to be absolutely unbelievable. And this will be ready. They're promising us with prayer. I would like for it to be tomorrow, but it's going to be Easter time of 2011. So um, we're very excited, and we want you to make your plans now to come, please. Hey, Larry, how big is the stage going to be, the opening and all? It's 60? 90 feet. Across and then height-wise, 20 feet on that. And so there's plenty of room to be able to do different, uh, like, drops and scenery set changes and everything. And it's going to be, it's, it's amazingly designed. But, you know, the, the opportunities are going to be endless as far as not only for all our guests. Because right now, if you look around this auditorium right now, we open up the back wall. There's many people who don't get a chance to see the passion drama. You know, and, and they're fairly upset about that. Obviously, I would be too. But besides that, they don't get a chance to hear the Word of God. And here we can, we can do this effectively. You know, and I firmly believe that, you know, once we once this gets going, we're going to see numbers just go through the roof. As a matter of fact, I would love, I was thinking about this the other day, Jan, can you imagine people being able to come here, not only for a few days, but to be able to spend a weekend and come to church here? This would be your church on vacation. I don't know if you're like me, but a lot of times we go on a vacation and sometimes we don't really go to church, you know, to the area. But can you imagine being able to worship? This would be your church. This is going to be your church when you're on vacation. And to be able to worship with us and uh, just to see, uh, you know, amazing speakers come through. And like I said, maybe your church, a convention or whatever, to be able to just pack this up. And, you know, I I just want to say that um, there is no way (laughs) that the ticket sales from Holy Land could ever begin to pay for this. It could barely pay for the model that we have here. Yeah, well, (laughs) we did pay for that, I think. But... You know, we just break even and are doing well right now, but we're we're breaking even with all our expenses for Holy Land, for the people that come in the door. We have all the actors and the food and the stores and the tabernacle and the scriptorium and everything is run. But there's no way that Holy Land could pay for this. So TBN has stepped in and said, we will give that as a gift to uh, to Holy Land, but you know what TBN is is you, right. and uh, the ones that the money that you have given to TBN will go to a wonderful good cause. And if you would like to designate mm-hmm. some funds and just say, Jan, I may get that may be my seat yeah. right there. <laughs> Save me one uh, on about May of 2011. I'll be there. <laughs> and um, But we want you to, any of you that want to be a part of giving to this, we would be, God would be pleased. And um, we're, we're just showing his beauty all day, every day. We show his forgiveness in one whole play. Mm-hmm. People cannot walk out here with, out of here with guilt because we show how even David and even Hosea and Gomer and the Apostle Paul uh, was forgiven. 
And so they walk out forgiven. We have the little woman at the well who you know was married five times. And Jesus sent her as the first evangelist to that area. So, you know, no matter what's in your life, we portray it as Jesus comes in and changes it all. And we have the four women that love Jesus, which is fabulous. The woman who lost her son, widow Nain, uh, Mary who came, washed his feet, and the harlot who he wrote in the sand and and said uh, where are your accusers neither do I condemn thee go and sin no more and so every time anybody comes in here they see Jesus in all his beauty and all his glory now we have one where it talks about angels and how that angels are all around us all the time. And we show that. The whole play is called Angels. Yeah. And it's beautiful. So, and then, of course, the Passion twice where uh, we start with uh, the trial and the beating and then uh, go through his death and his resurrection and then, of course, behold the Lamb at the end, which is so beautiful. See Jesus in all his glorious uh, crowning glory. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see it in here the first time. I love it. So if you want to be a part of this miracle... Well, come on down to Holy Land, number one. We'll make room for you. There's room at Holy Land for you. <laughs> so come on down. But just be a part and designated to the Church of All Nations Holy Land Experience, Orlando, Florida. And it'll be beautiful. That's interesting, Jan. We saw a few shows just to get some ideas and some other shows we went to. That's where we came up with Yeah, this. and all yeah. these different We just kept adding to. And, you know, if the world can do it, we as Christians need to do it even better. We need to set the standards so high. And we got some amazing state of the art, not only with lighting, with a grid. You won't even see the lights. They're going to be hidden up in a, in a grid where the light shines through. Uh, state of the art, you know, like pyrotechnics and, then, and uh, with lasers and, and you name it. We're, God is just, you know, it's unlimited what we can do. And, and we want you to be a part of that. You may have some ideas. You may have a, just a burden to say, you know what, that top row. I want to purchase that top row. I want to purchase that top row. Everybody that sits yep, there, in that I row. believe their life will be changed. That'd be great. Yep. You know what? Maybe we could put some names put, on a Sure. Plaque. Why not? I bought a chair. I bought, bought a, a row seat. or something, a section. And everybody in my yep. seat, every yep. time it's, they're yep. going to find Jesus. I love that. Because that's all we do. We just mm -hmm. talk about Jesus. And I love it. And... It's going to be unbelievable as far as not only the opportunities, but I think for the city of Orlando, because uh, let's face it, the economy is rough right now. Uh, a lot of your theme parks are cutting back on things, and and people. But we're not. But Isn't we're that not. Amazing. God is just. It's a. Uh, the we're gates are are. Exploding. Yeah, <laughs> and it. and the, you know that was a dream that we had when we when you guys first came. We said, wouldn't that be amazing? Instead of the whole land being a sideshow, no. that this would be the main show. Yeah. And everybody's and universal. looking at us and yeah. going, what are you doing? Yeah. And how how do you say it's the anointing? Yeah, yeah. The anointing breaks yeah. the yoke. And I love that. So we're happy. Oh, yeah, to and, be able uh, to do live shows and hear oh, tapings yeah. and things. Yeah. And they've got some great plans. They have some state-of-the-art type of, you know, camera followers. It's going to be unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. So we, but we want you to be a part of that, too. And we also have turkey legs. You forgot turkey legs. And Chick-fil-A. You're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> They are Not awesome. on Sunday. No. <laughs> you know what? We have great cafeteria here, and we have a great a coffee shop and little oh. kiosks Jewelry and, and beautiful stores with all of the things, perfumes. gifts galore. And then, of course, the scriptorium. Yes. I have to bow and thank the Van Campen family because they have put the most extensive a uh, single-family-owned Bible collection in the world here. And, Pastor, if you haven't seen this, your, your church needs to bring you here just for that because it is amazing, and you'll love it. And, you know, Orlando is a beautiful city, and there are a few other little theme parks I heard. Uh, not, important uh, not important. But, anyway, <laughs> Orlando is a great place to visit. And right now, if you're cold, it's really hot here, so come on down. <laughs> but we love you with all of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. 
for all you've done for TBN over the years. Thank you. It's now around the world, and God has allowed us to reach out to do other wonderful venues to win people to the Lord, and we're so grateful. Please be a part of it. Would you please? Thank you very much. And thank you for giving to the Lord. You know, can you imagine getting to heaven? And that Ray Bolt song there talks about getting to heaven. All these just masses of people coming up and just saying thank you for giving to the Lord. Thank you for your faith. And then, of course, we, with our crowns, can lay them down at Jesus' feet. And that's going to be unbelievable. And, that, you know, we want to dream big here. We want to dream big. And, and, you know, you may have a gift or talent. Maybe it's singing or acting. Or, or maybe you have administration, a gift. You just really feel called. Call us. You know, if we get online and, and get in touch with us. Because, you know, this is what it's here for. Yeah. We're here for the body of Christ. And if you're an actor... You know, yes. we're always, always looking for wonderful actors. You have to just send a, um, a what is it, darling? It's a headshot. A headshot and a resume. Do not call because we don't have any way to answer all your calls. But send it in, and then we have Jennifer here, and she will uh, call you back when our auditions come. But we, we need yes. Jesus characters we need what all we need roman soldiers yeah, we need people. women we need yeah uh, we need you, you may feel like maybe I, I can't really do much but you love to share the gospel we need that during miracle moment that's 25 minutes where we just need people to just to pray in the spirit walk around and, and maybe lay hands on people just to you know come aside along with them and, and just pray with them you know what else we have that's so cute anybody can do this we have those little animals oh, yeah. that you dress up and you'll be a camel yep. or you'll be a little sheep and you go around and just make the children laugh and anybody can do that but please come and see us and we'd love to see you and pray for you like we did at miracle moment thank you god bless you i love you god bless you experience love experience peace experience joy experience jesus at TBN's Holy Land Experience. The Holy Land Experience in Orlando, Florida is an incredible place where you can go back in time and not just see, but experience life in biblical times. Enter through the gates and you're transported to a Jerusalem marketplace with all its unique sights and sounds. Ahead is the Temple Plaza with its gleaming six-story replica of Herod's Great Temple. And around the corner is Jerusalem AD 66, the world's largest indoor model of Jerusalem. What was life like for Moses and the children of Israel? Experience the Wilderness Tabernacle through an amazing live presentation. Experience the journey of the written word from ancient days to the present in the stunning scriptorium. I have made the first translation of the complete Latin Bible into English. With its priceless collection of manuscripts and scrolls. But most of all, experience life with Jesus through a series of powerful reenactments. His teaching. Be broken and spilled up for my people. His love. His healing. His suffering, His death, and resurrection. You will even have the opportunity to experience Holy Communion in a unique setting reminiscent of the Last Supper. Experience the lives of compelling biblical characters in the new presentations of The Woman at the Well, Forgiven, and Four Women Who Love Jesus. It was very moving to see the lives of women who had crossed Jesus' path. The Holy Land experience is filled with many other attractions. Throughout the park, you'll experience inspiring gardens, including the new Church of All Nations Prayer Garden and the Garden of Eden, unique shops, fascinating demonstrations, and always beautiful music, as well as the incredible crystal living waters. Plus, our youngest visitors can experience the smile of a child adventure land. What have others said about their experience? 
phenomenal. I liked it a lot. Fantastic. It's a great family trip. It is so much fun. They replay the roles just so beautifully. Every time I come, I learn something new. Come to Holy Land Experience. You will not be disappointed. Experience love. Experience peace. Experience joy. Experience Jesus at TVN's Holy Land Experience in Orlando, Florida.